Okay. All right. It's a long time. Easy with the music tonight, pal. Don't want you spooking my dad's horses, no. One last blast, Marcus, and we'll be off your land forever. I pity them. Whoever gets you next. No, no. There's whiskey in us already. You know how it gets. All right. Hey, Bram, give his hand with this. Where the hell have you been? This is your party, Luella. Chores to be done. Just had an errand, Dad. You've got her running around all over the place for you. Things will be different when we're married. She'll do as she pleases, I'm sure. Oh, careful, Ronnie. Oh, he's having a go, isn't he, pal? Really trying, bless his heart. Calm yourself, Abraham. Come on, you two, with your big jousting. There's still plenty to be done, you know. Luella says he's a vicar. Probably never got his hands dirty in his life. I don't care. Where do you want me? Congratulations on your engagement. Thanks. How long have you been together? Me and Abraham. <laughs> Not too long. Apparently we're a match made in heaven. You don't look too sure. As soon as we wait, we're all moving on from here. I'll miss it with all my heart. It sounds exciting, moving on. New place, new life. You're lucky. Funny. I think you're the lucky one. Probably all settled in your neat, safe world. Luella, hmm? you said you'd dance with us. Yeah, come on. Have a good night. A few words about our darling Luella. Now, she may not be my true granddaughter. No bloodline in sight. Yet more of a Romney than you'll ever be, boy. <laughs> she may not be my true granddaughter, but she's as precious and as dear to me as my own. And since she was seven years old, I've watched that clever, funny face grow. I'd like to wish you all the best for your marriage to Abraham, who may or may not deserve you. <laughs> <laughs> so come on, Cora, a toast. A toast to my granddaughter, Luella. Luella. And Luella, are you out there? Luella, no! so it's my job to uncover what's happened here. It's also my job to punish. And you came here like no vicar I've ever known, asking Ronnie for money. Now he's dead. Please, pal, leave him. Please, pal. He's gone. My darling Ronnie's been robbed and murdered, and all you can do is beat each other to a pulp. Shame on you. He's beautiful. Yeah, we're getting there. Been neglected. Once him gone, I think he's weak. He looks happy with you. What do you want? 
All this will be yours, will it? We're Romneys. We're in wagons, not land. But you and Luella will be in charge one day. <laughs> yeah, it looks that way. If I'll hand over to me. I saw you last night, heading towards the woods. Well, I think you were seeing things. Some money went missing. Ronnie was robbed, then killed. No, I don't know anything about that. Any idea why he'd go back to his wagon in the middle of a party? I just saw Cora run back there, crying. Something about that first wife of his. What? Well, folk heard you and Ronnie talking at the party. And word wasn't going to take long for it to reach her. Where is she? In the barn, why? She's not at the barn. She wants to stay on this land. She'd do anything. What are you saying? It could have been an accident. She lashed out. Careful, Vicar. We... Luella! It is so. <laughs> that does no lay off him, please. <sighs> I'm going to marry Marcus. <laughs> to the party, get him to call off the wedding. He said he had money. Abraham. <laughs> You're making a mistake, Abraham. This isn't who you are. You didn't mean to do it, did you? No, don't. Shh. Steady, Sydney. But Ronnie made you feel like he was a better Romany, even if it wasn't in his blood. No. And then Luella, all those errands from a man who made no secret, thinking you were weak, showing you up in front of Pal. You knew he was covering for her. You went to talk to him, but he was arguing with Cora. You wanted to find out the truth. Where Luella was going. But he wouldn't talk to you. He never took you seriously. Do you feel at home here, Abraham? What? Well, it's one thing for someone to accuse you of not belonging. It's another to know it in your heart that they're right. Plans were set. I'd, I'd take over from Pau and run everything. Marry his daughter. But then Ronnie sniffed you out. He was right. No, I'd never be the big man. I was a runt. Trying, always trying to be this, you know? If Pal had gone into that wagon, he would have got the answer. Me? I can't even manage that. 